thought you were staring at me. <laughs> See you waltzing around down there. I don't know if they do though. Do you think they do? Yeah. <laughs> All I want is an adventure. For the dreams of my head. Cause I'm tired of pretending. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I am gonna be sharing with you some healthy lunch ideas. So you may already know, but I do work full time and every single day I pack my lunch for work and I actually really love doing it, mainly because it helps me, you know, stay on track during the week. I know for sure every day I'm going to have like a very healthy lunch because I'm pre-planning it out the night before and also it just saves so much money, so much money versus going out every day and buying a lunch. Um, so I really, really do enjoy bringing a lunch every day. So bringing a lunch to work or school, whatever it is, is really a great idea. And even though it may take a little bit of extra work, extra planning at night, it is so worth it. So let's just get started and jump right into it. The very first lunch idea I'm gonna be sharing with you is a salad. And this has been probably like my most go-to lunch, lunch, go-to lunch recently. Okay, so I've got everything here to make the salad, and the type of salad that it is, it's just kind of like a blackberry avocado salad. It's very simple and straightforward. I don't really like a ton of stuff on my salads, like, I, I don't know, it also just takes more work. So the very first thing, obviously, is greens. These are Earthbound Farm Organic Deep Green Blend. Um, it's got like kale and spinach, chard, that kind of stuff. So just taking a little Tupperware container, I'm just going to dump some of this lettuce in there. These are really, really good. This is what I've been buying recently, and the deeper the greens are, the more nutrient-rich they are. So whenever you are buying lettuce, try and go for the darker, leafier greens versus like an iceberg lettuce or something like that. So I have my lettuce in here. I like to use these bigger containers because it's so much easier to like mix the salad around once you do get to eating it. Next, I'm just going to take um, some fresh blackberries here and just dump those on. And then a little bit of avocado. This one's a little bit ripe, but it's okay. It'll still taste good. And I use about a fourth of an avocado, um, unless it's a really small avocado, um, on each of my salads or whatever. So I'm just going to place that on there. And then we're done with that. And then for dressing, I have two favorite dressings that I like to go back and forth uh, with this salad. The first one is just this Kraft Raspberry Vinaigrette. It's a light dressing. Um, and this is just really good, straightforward, it has like poppy seeds in it, it's pretty standard raspberry vinaigrette. And then the other dressing that I love is from Trader Joe's and it's the Champagne Pear Vinaigrette with Gorgonzola and this is so good. It's still kind of sweet, has that fruity taste to it, but this is like a little bit more creamy. So it's just kind of different, it switches it up, um, it just tastes like a different salad with like a vinaigrette versus a creamy dressing. So for tomorrow, I'm going to use the vinaigrette. Um, and then I just use one of these little, these are from Easy Lunch Boxes, just this little container. It's perfect for salad dressing. You just have to be careful with these though because they aren't like leak proof. So I just make sure to keep it like upright in my little lunch bag. That is the salad, but I don't stop there um, because I want to add a little bit of like lean protein to this lunch. So a lot of times what I will do during the week is just like a fourth grader roll up some turkey and have some turkey roll ups instead of you know like putting chicken or something on my salad because I just don't always have like grilled chicken handy but I can always have sliced turkey handy um, so I'm just gonna quickly roll up some of these usually I'll bring like three slices of turkey rolled up and you do feel like a child eating it but it's just you know it, it does the job it's like a really easy way to get a lean protein in um, and I like turkey the one that I do buy is uh, the brand healthy ones and it has about, I think it says like 52% lower sodium, but about half the sodium content of other um, turkey lunch meats. And you really need to be careful with these because they can get so high in sodium. Like you wouldn't believe how many milligrams of sodium are in a serving. Um, so don't get me wrong, like this turkey still tastes good. It still tastes salty. It just happens to be half the amount of other brands. So it's still salty, just not extremely salty. So still tastes good. So we're just gonna roll up a couple of these and we'll be almost done. So that is it for the salad portion of the lunch. And then I'm just going to bring along some grapes as well. I just rinsed these off and dried them. So I'm just gonna stick these in this little container. So I have some grapes as well to go along with my lunch. And then the very last thing that I'm gonna be bringing with me with this lunch is just a little bit of trail mix. 
Um, this is also from Trader Joe's and it is like my favorite trail mix that they have. It's the Sweet, Savory, and Tart Trek Mix. It has cashews, um, golden raisins, cranberries, and then it also has like white chocolate chips, chocolate chips, and I think like peanut butter or butterscotch. They're all pretty small, um, but it's just like a nice little sweet treat at the end of my lunch. Um, and I mean, it's trail mix, so it's not the end of the world. And I just bring a little bit in this like little baby container, so it's not a lot. Just like one, you know, small serving, probably not even a fourth of a cup, which is what this uh, serving size suggests. And I will just close that up. This is another one of those easy lunchbox things that I love. Here you have it. This is lunch number one. It is an avocado blackberry salad with raspberry vinaigrette dressing, some turkey roll-ups, some grapes, and then also a serving of trail mix. So this is plenty of food to keep me full for a few hours and is really good and very satisfying. Okay, so for lunch number two, I'm going to be making a wrap. I generally lean towards salads for lunch just because I tend to like those better, but I do like to switch it up and also bring in wraps as well. So I'm just going to be using one of these Mission Multigrain wraps. I'm going to start off with just a little bit of um, plastic wrap because I will be wrapping the wrap up in this. This is always a freaking battle. Ugh. So then I'm just going to grab one of these wraps. I'm going to start again with those same greens as before, just take a small handful of these. And I like to kind of like crunch them up in my hand because it just makes it easier to roll the whole thing up because there's not like lettuce spraying everywhere, it just kind of wilted a little bit, makes it easier. Next up, just going to take some turkey, you can use whatever kind of meat you want, you can use no meat, you can make this vegetarian by adding like hummus, beans, whatever you want. So I'm again probably going to take about three slices of turkey. And this is the same I used just a minute ago. I'm actually going to use four slices. I decided three just doesn't seem like enough. This is a pretty big wrap. Then I'm going to be taking, again, some avocado. I love avocados. I eat them daily. They're so good. Um, and I'm probably going to use this whole half just because this avocado is looking a little sad. And I don't know by tomorrow it might be a little too spoiled. So I'm just going to use this up before it goes bad. We're just going to throw that on there. And then lastly, I'm going to top it off with a little bit of spicy mustard. This is like my favorite condiment, I guess. You can use whatever you want. Um, one thing I will say about this though, spicy mustard and Dijon mustard taste very similar, but spicy mustard always, have, always has like half the sodium for some reason. So if you know you like, you don't really have a preference between the two, go for the spicy brown mustard because it has less salt in it. Then just wrap it up. Try and keep everything contained as best as possible. And then you already have the plastic wrap laid down, which is super convenient, so then you just roll it up, and now it's ready to go into your lunch. Along with my wrap, I will also be bringing in an apple to eat with it, and then of course, just because I love it so much, I'm gonna be also be bringing a little bit more of that trail mix in one of those little baby containers. So here you have it, lunch number two. I have a whole wheat wrap with turkey, greens, avocado, and mustard. Is that it? I think so. <laughs> and then an apple and a little bit of trail mix. This will definitely keep me full and satisfied for a few hours while I'm at work. So for my third and final lunch idea, I'm going to be making kind of like a yogurt parfait. So I know this is kind of more like a breakfast thing, but it really is so good and there are no rules. Like you can think outside the box as long as you're packing something that's going to be good and fill you up and you know be healthy, then that's really all you need. So I'm just going to start off with a plastic container. Again, Tupperware is key if you're going to be packing your lunch. And then I'm going to be using these uh, frozen berries. Um, there are blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries in here. So what I like to do is pour the frozen berries in this container first. The strawberries don't turn out very well doing this, so I don't like to bring a whole lot. So I just kind of toss most of them back, and I'll have like one or two. So that seems like a pretty good amount of berries. So then I will also toss in just a few um, fresh blackberries, just because you don't have to do that. No specific reason, I just like them, and I usually have them, so I throw them in there. Uh, I'm gonna take just a couple of dried cranberries. These are also from Trader Joe's. And just sprinkle a few on there, just for a little added 
tartness, I guess, and chewiness. So that is all I do for now as far as the parfait goes. I just let this frozen fruit uh, sit in the refrigerator overnight um, before I take it to work the next day. And the frozen fruit will start to melt by the time that you eat it. And it like releases all of these juices because they were frozen and it is seriously so good. It is like way better than any fresh fruit parfait, I think. I just did this out of convenience and discovered that it's like so good. So. If you've never tried it, try it. Let me know what you think. Um, Cause it just tastes way better than any other parfait and it's so easy. Next, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of granola. Um, I like to top that off along with the yogurt. So this is the one I'm gonna be using. This is also from Trader Joe's. It's just their cranberry maple nut granola. Um, I don't like love, this isn't my favorite granola, but it just is just kind of what I have right now. Um, you have to be careful with granolas cause they can tend to get really high in fat and sugar. Because when you think about granola, it's like clusters of, you know, different nuts and grains, whatever. So to make them stick together, they have to add a lot of fat and sugar in order to create those clusters. So the more bunchy it is, generally the higher in fat and sugar it is. So I usually try and stay away from the ones that are really high in fat and sugar. This one isn't terrible, but it's also not great. It's 8 grams of sugar, which is not bad and um, six grams of fat per one third cup. So it's not terrible, but it's not also not the greatest. The one that I really, really like, which I'm out of right now, is by Nature's Path. And it's like their pumpkin flax granola. It doesn't taste like pumpkin at all. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> but that is a really good granola. And it's like very loose. There's like, aren't like, you know, lots and lots of big clusters. It's really good. That's what I always top this with, but I ran out and actually picked this up today. So I've tried it. It's good, but it's not as good as the one that I usually use. So check that one out. That's na by Nature's Path. So really any granola will work, but you know, there are some that are better than others. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this granola and sprinkle it into this bag here. What I do, seal it off, and I will actually lay this inside of the container with the fruit. Everything's separated, nothing will get soggy, but it just is easy to have it all in one little area. Then I will bring with me the yogurt. This is the Dan and Oikos 0% Vanilla. This is probably one of my favorite yogurts. Very simple and straightforward. I will mix all of this together when I actually sit down to eat. I will mix the yogurt with all of the melted juicy berries, which is so good, and then I will top it off with the granola. And just, you know, grab a spoon, dig in, and enjoy. It's so good, and again, it's more like a breakfast meal, I guess, but it's so good and so satisfying that I enjoy it every time I pack it for lunch. This is pretty sweet, so I do like to have something salty to go with it. Usually I like um, Triscuits, I'll bring like a few Triscuits with me, like six or seven of those crackers and that does the trick. Kills my, you know, salty tooth I guess, but I forgot to pick them up today and all we have left are these pretzel crisps, which are my favorite, but you know, they'll, they'll do the trick. Um, and they're like really broken up, so you know, that's just life. I'm gonna use a few of these pretzels, put it in this baggie and um, it will go along with my parfait situation we have happening here. So here we go guys, this is my last and final lunch idea for this video. Again, it is just some frozen berries along with a little bit of fresh fruit and dried cranberries that I will mix with some vanilla yogurt and granola. And then I also just have some very sad looking broken pretzels. Um, and you know, it is what it is. You can only work with what you have and I forgot to pick up crackers today. So it doesn't have to be perfect every time as long as you're packing something that's healthy and is gonna fill you up, that is all you need. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you try out any of my lunch ideas, please let me know. I'd love to know what you think of them. And also maybe let me down, let me know down in the comments below like what your go-to ride or die lunch is that you like to bring to school, work, whatever it is. Because um, I'm always looking for new ideas because I do, you know, I have my favorites, but I do like to switch it up as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more videos like this. Don't forget, of course, to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new videos. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya! All I want is an adventure Pull the dreams to my head Cause I'm tired of pretending Give me something I want